Question 12. This question focuses on word choice. Remember this kind of question? It's really about vocabulary. So we have to make sure that we're looking at the exact definitions of our answer choices. But also, we want to go back to the passage and we want to try just reading the sentence and filling it in with our own words, sort of like what comes to mind. So the blank of some grammar concepts, however, are not completely understood through usage alone. So the parts, the rules. Okay. Now you see how parts maybe lead you towards ingredients. The ingredients are parts. Yes, but they're specifically parts of food or recipes. So by exact meaning, B is out. And there's almost always some strange word like allowance. That doesn't even make any sense when you plug it in. The allowance of some grammar concepts. So D is wrong. Now, obscurity is interesting because maybe you read that word and you think, oh, yeah, that's when I'm like unsure or vague about something. But let's try plugging it in. The obscurity of some grammar concepts, that actually sounds kind of neat, however, are not completely understood through usage alone. Now, the however is important. So now we're actually saying that it's like these parts are unknowable. We need something that's more like the rules, however, right? So nuances. Choice A is going to be our best choice. Nuances mean the subtle differences in meaning, and that actually fits perfectly in this sentence. 